Have you ever been excited about a game only to find out it's not exactly what you expected? I have and it's not exactly uncommon. But don't worry, sometimes it's the good kind. I've been playing Otome games for more than a decade now and when Love and Deep Space announced its closed beta test, I just had to jump in. Here are 7 tips I wish I knew sooner during closed beta that helped me in the full release. Starting with face customization. When you start up the game, you will be greeted with a lovely face customization interface. This is what makes Love and Deep Space unique. You can customize your character's skin, face, eyes, nose, lips, makeup, and even the bangs. Unfortunately, the long dark hair would have to stay for game reasons, I assume. But don't you worry, we have a photo studio that gets unlocked early in the game. You get to change your hair color, a few hairstyle options, outfit change, and most of all accessorize with glasses and other props. While it's technically just under photo studio, you do get to save the photos and choose that as your in-game avatar and social media pick. So there's still that kind of immersion, especially since the main story and other stories are in first person. Speaking of stories, the first few chapters of the main story are pretty straightforward and act as the tutorial for the game. However, you will reach a point where you will need to have a higher level to go deeper into the story. And to get a higher level, you need to get some experience, or XP for short. It definitely took me a while to realize that you don't get any XP in any of the main story chapters. You only get experience from the daily tasks in your agenda, at least at this time of recording. You will see this list of things you can do every day and more gets added as you unlock more features. So if you want to level up fast and move on with the main story, do not forget to do your daily tasks. Oh, but clearing the battle chapters in the main story for the first time does give a bit of XP, but doing the daily tasks will definitely be your main source of XP. And speaking of battles, I'd like to point out that there is an auto battle feature. You will unlock this in chapter 215 in the main story, and just in time too because the battles will start getting more complicated. This is very useful for players like me who don't have good reflexes, players who have not so good peripherals, and players who are just in it for the story. I would also like to mention that the auto battle also works in the battle features, where there are a variety of challenges and conditions to win, and you get to see your character and her companion in action doing the challenges themselves. And while we're on the subject of battle features, in a lot of mobile games, there are a lot of items and or currencies that you need to gather or farm for in order to upgrade certain aspects in the game. And for Love and Deep Space, the battle features are where you'll need to go to for that. Starting with bounty hunts, you can use your stamina to battle Mr. Beanie for gold, Heartbreaker for Bottles of Wishes, Pumpkin Magus for Sapphire and Ruby Crystals, Lemonette for Emerald and Amber Crystals, and Snoozer for Violet and Pearl Crystals. All of these are needed to upgrade your memories. The Bottles of Wishes are for increasing the memory's XP to level it up. Then the Gold and Crystals are for ascending the memory to increase its level cap. Also, once you clear a specific battle for the first time in Bounty Hunt, you will unlock the option to do one or multiple pursuits so you don't need to go through many battles to farm items. Next, there's the Deep Space Trial. There are four types of challenges here. The Open Orbit is open 24-7. Here you can choose anyone to be your companion in battle and you can try to clear the trials as many times as you like. The other three orbits, light, ice, and fire, are only open on certain days, and your battle companion can only be the guy that is assigned to that orbit. And you can only try to clear the trials three times per day. The rewards from each orbit's trial vary. You can get gold, diamonds, wishes, companion outfits, and accessories. Then there is also the training room, where you get diamonds when you clear each training for the first time. These trainings are basically just showing you the tutorial on how to fight in a battle just in case you forgot. Now, 
core hunt and hunter contest will unlock in later levels, and if you want us to cover more on these topics, let us know in the comments. And one more thing about battles is the combat outfits. You can change your and your companion's outfits for battle, and you can purchase combat outfits in the shop. Although while you can select any of the unlocked outfits in the photo studio, unfortunately the combat outfits are character exclusive or locked during the battles for now. This means that during battle you can only wear specific outfits when your companion is Raphael, Zane, or Xavier. The cutscenes for their ultimate skill look amazing though. Also, keep in mind that the skills of your companion will also change depending on their outfit. So your companion's ultimate skill cutscenes will also look different. Let's move on from the battles and shift our focus to the boys. If you're like me and simply content in staring at the love and deep space boys, well, you're not alone. <laughs> but of course, we also want to know more about them, right? This is where the date features come in. You will unlock them one by one as you increase your level. So again, do not forget those daily tasks I mentioned earlier. The photo studio and playtime are pretty straightforward, but the others were a bit confusing for me at first on what the differences are. So here's the gist. By your side is like an ASMR where you can listen to his voice stories in the background even if you have other apps open. Which is awesome because not only do you learn more about him, but you can also do other stuff on your device too. In Falling For You, you get to experience the first-person interactive dates. Under this are Bond, which gets unlocked when you get closer and reach a certain affinity, Memoria, which are unlocked when you acquire specific 5-star memories and reach a certain affinity, and Myth, which is similar to Memoria but in an alternate universe or timeline situation. In Anecdotes, you get to read and discover more of his untold stories from the perspectives of other characters, which adds depth to the love interest's personality and background. A welcome addition. And when you're done checking out these features, you can go back to staring at one of the beautiful boys and do some skinship. While skinship isn't exactly new, but did you know that when you tap on them too many times, they might get mad and turn their back on you. Then, you can touch their head, their back, their lower back, and their butt. Sometimes we just want to be a tease, you know? This is definitely one of the things I enjoyed in this game. And then, you can click on this end card for more Otome-related content. And we'll see you there!